Okay, so this one is asking us to find um, this, this one is asking us to find the cross product between V and W. And the question says, find the cross product uh, V cross, uh, V times W uh, of the following pairs of vectors. So when you're dealing with the cross product, um, one thing you have to understand is that the solution of the cross product is simply just, um, is, is simply just found by, um, is simply just found by using um, uh, what is finding the determinant of a three by three matrix that you create using the given vectors. So what that means is that you can't do the cross product minus doing vec uh, minus doing the matrices. Yeah, so you have to know how to find the determinant of a three by three matrix for you, a three by three matrix or a two by two matrix for you to know how to find the cross product of any two vectors. Okay, so we have the vector V and W and we've been given to say vector V is equal to six I minus three J then minus four K. And then vector W is also equal to um, I plus zero J minus three K. So this is what you have. And then to find V cross W, to find V cross W, the answer is, um, so what you need to do here, you write first the unit vectors um, or uh, in the first, um, in the first uh, row. So we have I, we have J, and then we have K. And then the first letter that you have there is what you write next year. So you have six, you have negative three, you write their coefficients, you have four. Then followed by the second one there, the coefficient of I is one, the coefficient of J is zero, the coefficient of K is negative three. So this is what you have. So now finding the determinant of this matrix is what we are going to get as, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's what you're going to get as um, uh, the cross product. And the cross product of two vectors gives you a vector. And uh, the magnitude of that vector or the resulting vector is simply just the area of the parallelogram. When you divide that area by two, or when you divide that uh, resulting uh, magnitude by two, you get the area of the triangle. Okay, so that is exactly what you do if you want to find the area, or if you have been asked to find the area of a parallelogram or the area of a triangle. Yeah, so whatever that we're going to get is going to be the vector representing the area of a parallelogram. So the magnitude of any cross product, if we have the cross product V cross uh, W there, so the magnitude of this vector that we're going to get gives you what? The area of a parallelogram. And then the, the, the was is one over the magnitude of the vectors that you are going to be given, or the vector that you are going to find rather, is going to give you what? The area of the triangle. That's what it means. So if you've been asked to find the area of a parallelogram, you will just find the magnitude of the vector that you find after uh, crossing the two vectors. And then if you want to find the area of a triangle, you, you, you find half of the vector, uh, rather half of the magnitude of a vector that you've been given. Okay. okay, let's quickly find the cross product of these two vectors. So the cross product here will be, Remember, we write what we have there first, and then we open the minor matrix here that, were, that we have is negative three, negative four, the minor matrix of I, then we have zero, then we have negative three, we close. Then we say minus J, remember those that followed me when finding the, the determinants of matrices, I'm sure you know what, what is happening here. So you get this J, this J is positive, but because we have the matrix of sim, uh, I mean signs there. It's the one that we have to follow. Yeah, so you follow this matrix. So the first one is positive. The next one should be negative. This is where the negative is coming from. Then if you want to find the minor for, okay, let me just start from this one. The minor for I, I found the minor for I, where, I mean, I found the minor for I by crossing this 
and that you cross the row and the column where this i is then the remaining uh, numbers there you form a vector that you are going to write down there so now in the in a similar way to find the minor for j to find the minor for j the minor matrix we cancel the column where j is and the vector where j is then you, wh whatever you remain with is a vector that we're going to find its magnitude so this is the minor vector or rather this is the minor matrix uh, whose determinant we are yet to find. Okay, so we move on, we, pro we proceed. We cancel, uh, we want to find the minor for K, so we say plus K. Yeah, I've used, the, uh, I've used plus because there's a plus there. So we have plus K there, then we write the minor matrix there. So we cancel the row and the column where this K is, and the remaining part there, you are going to have six, negative three, one and then zero there. So this is exactly what you're supposed to do. And then from there, you can see that these are symbols of uh, determinants. So we can find the determinants of these small matrices. So we have um, negative three times negative three. This is going to give us a positive nine. So we have nine, then minus zero times four. This will be nine minus zero. Then we have negative j there, open brackets. We have six times negative three. This is going to give us negative 18. And then we say neg one times negative four. The answer is negative four. But because there is always a minus that we subtract, we say the, uh, the major diagonal minus the minor diagonal. So minus the minus negative four give us what? Plus four. And then we say plus k. Then open brackets, we have zero times a six there, that is zero. One times negative three, the answer is negative three. But because there's that minus, which is in the formula for the determinant, we have positive three. So now we can write the final uh, answer for the cross product of V and W. And this is going to be nine I. Um, so here we have negative 18 plus four, plus four, that will give us negative 14. And then times negative J there, we're getting positive 14. J. And then you also have positive three K. So this is what we have as the solution. All right, so let us quickly move on and find the solution for part B. So also, we've also been asked to find um, the, the, is the cross product of V and W for part B. So the cross product of V and W there like I said, you always just have to first write the unit vectors there, of i, j, and k. And then from there, write down the vectors. We have three, um, we have three, negative two, and positive six there. Then we have four, negative one, and negative six. So now we find the determinant of this matrix. Yeah, we find the gross product of this matrix. So we have um, i there, if I write i, we cancel the row and the column where I is, and then the remaining uh, matrix there, we have to find this determinant. So this is what we have. Then next we cancel the column and the row where this, um, where this uh, J is. So we have negative J there. So we're remaining with three, six, four negative six. Then from there, we do the same with the, the last one there. So we cancel the row and the column for K. Then the remaining part there we have, so we have plus K. Oh, sorry. We have plus K there. And then the remaining part becomes, uh, we have three, negative two, negative one, and we have four. So this is what we have as the the solutions for this part. So from there, the next thing that we have to do is to just find the, the, the what is the determinants. So we have, um, we have I and then open brackets, we have negative two times negative six, that gives us 12, 12 plus six there. And then we have minus J open brackets. We have three times negative six, that gives us negative 18, then minus four times uh, six, that is 24. Then we have plus K open brackets. We have three times uh, negative one, that is negative three. And then minus <laughs> four times negative two, that will be positive eight there. 
so here's just a matter of simplifying. We have, um, yeah, so we have 12 plus six, that would be 18. 18 times i, that would be 18 i. And then from there we have negative 18 and um, negative 24. Yeah, so when you add those, you get uh, something like 42. So negative 42 times i uh, times j there, times negative j, yeah, getting positive 42 j. And then uh, the other thing is that, uh, I mean, the last part there, we, we add negative three and eight there, and this will give us uh, positive five. So we have positive five K. So this is what we have as the cross product of V and W. So now the magnitude of this cross product, in case you've been asked to find the area of a parallelogram, uh, given these two vectors, the magnitude of this cross product is what gives you the the area of a parallelogram yeah so that is exactly what you're supposed to do you just find the magnitude of the cross product that you have found and we know to say the magnitude of any vector is simply just given by the square root of the respective components that you have in that vector okay so for instance this one it will be 18 squared plus 42 squared plus five plus uh, five squared. So when you find the solution for this, that will be the magnitude of V cross W. This is what you're going to have. And then from there, you also have, um, they can also ask you to find the, what is the area of a triangle given these two, uh, given these two vectors. So what you just need to do when you've been given such um, a question is that, um, you just have to divide this same magnitude, you divide it by two. So when you divide the magnitude by two, you are simply finding the area of a triangle. Yeah, it means, because we know that a parallelogram is, um, is something like this. It has two parallel sides. So yeah, it has two parallel sides. So if you want to find the area of a triangle, it means that you're just dividing the, the area of a parallelogram into two parts. So that means that you found the area of that part. Yeah, so that's what it means. All right, let's quickly move on to the next question. 